Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about the Web Driver Manager in Selenium Python. So, Web Driver Manager, I have already explained about it in the Java uh, Selenium with Java tutorial and the importance of it. Now, I want to cover the same library that is available for Python as well because in the previous three tutorials, if you see that in order to launch your script on different browsers, we need the browser drivers. So manually, we need to download those, put it, uh, put them at a specific location, and then use this particular line here, right? So if I have to execute my uh, script in the Chrome or Firefox, I have to provide the executable path of that particular browser driver and then i'll be able to launch the script on that particular browser now tomorrow your chrome version changes to something else so the version say for example current version is 88 and you have downloaded the chrome driver which matches the browser version 88 tomorrow the browser version changes to 90 or 100 there will be another browser driver that will be required so you have to keep doing it manually that is very tedious process so that is why we have the library web driver manager that is available and can be used to manage the driver or the browser driver dependencies okay so let's understand a little bit about the web driver manager and how you can download and install the web driver manager library and use it in your script all right so let me go to the browser and on google just type in python package so python packages we'll go to pypy.org so this is the website the python package index where we can find all the available packages that are there there are people who provide the packages to the community so they develop the uh, develop the packages that are useful to the community right and um the web driver manager is one of it right so here what in order to search the package i'll simply type in the web driver manager and hit enter you can see there are lots and lots of packages okay the first one is what we are looking for this is updated jan 25th 2021 and by the time you are looking at this particular video or this version might have changed so don't worry about it just go ahead and download the one which is the latest one so basically what you need to do is you simply need to click on this web driver hyphen manager okay so this is the one that we are looking for and you can see the description says library provides the way to automatically manage drivers for different browsers so we once we set up this library then we don't have to download the browser drivers independently for each browser and manage those so if i click on this one this is the project description right and if we go to the uh, little bit here in the left hand side so this this so sergey uh, pirogov is uh, the maintainer so basically that's how people develop the library and provide it for the uh, community to help others right so if the um, sergey wouldn't have done it then we wouldn't be having this so somebody in the community does it uploads it and then it's available to public people like us who can use it and make the full benefit of it right so thanks to the author sergi and uh, you know providing all these details so there there are so many libraries that are available there and they are provided absolutely free and people who work there now, if you go through the description of this particular web driver manager for Python, you will see that for now, these are the supported browsers and you have to do very simple steps. The first step is to install the web driver manager and we'll use pip to install it. So uh, pip install uh, space web driver hyphen manager. We'll just use the command to install it. And then in the script, we simply use it. So the, if you are using Chrome, these are the lines that we have to add there for Firefox. These are the lines that we have to add there. And we do not need to add any of the uh, browser drivers locations or we do not need to download them anymore. OK, 
So let's go ahead and install the web driver manager first. So this is the first step that is highlighted. We'll go ahead and we'll install the web driver manager. So let me open the command prompt and I'll simply type in pip install web driver hyphen manager. All right, hit enter and it will download and install the web driver manager okay so if you see this particular warning you are using pip version um, this is basically i'm using the older version so i can go ahead and upgrade it so i can simply you know use the command here's the command that is provided so python.exe uh, pip install upgrade okay so i can simply say pip install upgrade and pip all right and it will upgrade the pip version so it is collecting the packages so next time you won't get this warning so even if you're using the older version shouldn't be a problem but then the next time you install the package you won't get this error that you are using the older version so now i have successfully installed pip 21.0.1 which is the latest version available all right so you, this is these are you know little tips or basically if you go through the warning messages you will get most of the information in the warning message or error message as well right so do not ignore any of the warning message or do not get scared with any of the warning message or error message because the solution is within the error and warning message okay so get the details of the warning message error message and try to uh, rectify the issue most of the time you will be able to rectify it from there so what we have done is we have now installed the web driver manager okay so we have installed the web driver manager and web driver manager got installed successfully so here you can see that uh, it successfully installed this web driver manager right this is the line here if i mark it so this is the one that has been installed successfully and then it gave me the warning for pip version and the next command that i used is to upgrade the pip right so this is the command that i used uh, pip install upgrade pip uh, this is the one that i used to upgrade pip right so this you might be requiring or you you might want to do it or you you can ignore it okay you can use the older version of pip so now web driver manager is installed the next step is to configure the web driver manager within the script so this step is done okay now if i want to use the web driver manager with chrome i'll simply use these three lines here right so from selenium this is any ways we are using and then from web driver manager dot chrome import chrome driver manager okay so this is the line that is important so we are um, you know importing chrome driver manager and then we are using it so right so we'll simply use these two lines in our script now and we do not need this line anymore so we can safely and we can simply paste the lines that we have copied from this particular location right so what this code is doing you can see that we are importing chrome driver manager and then we are installing the chrome driver so what it does it it, it automatically goes goes ahead and downloads the chrome driver and we do not need to manually download and configure the path of the chrome driver okay so now if i go ahead and run my script it will run exactly uh, the same way so you can see that it is launching the chrome browser and it will open the website and it will print the title so it has maximized the page and now if we go to pycharm you can see the title has been printed successfully and process finished with exit code zero okay so if i go through these logs here right so now you can see web driver manager okay so current google chrome version it checks the current google chrome version whatever is on your machine then it gets the latest driver version for that particular chrome version okay so based on the current version it will download the specific chrome driver from 
the location so that is all configured into the web driver manager library and it saves it at a particular location so this is the location where it has saved if you go to this location you will be able to find the chrome driver so let me show you the location and paste the location right so here is the version and you can see chrome driver.exe is already present there right so that's how the chrome or web driver manager is really helpful for any browser that you want to run your test against against okay so this is for chrome if i want to run the test in ie or firefox i simply have to use from web driver manager dot firefox import gecko driver manager okay so i can simply copy these two lines if i want to launch the test on the firefox browser and in my script instead of the chrome i'll simply replace these two lines with the firefox related details right so now if i run the script let me clear all and run the script again so now you can see the web driver manager is working for the gecko driver it will get the version of the firefox browser download the relevant gecko driver and then run your test so this makes your browser driver management really really easy and this is how you should be using in your actual projects so website has launched if we go to the logs here you can see that it got the latest mozilla release for this particular browser version whatever we have and it has downloaded the gecko driver so if we go to this particular location let's copy and go to the location we'll get the browser driver for gecko driver as well right so for the firefox as well okay so that's how it basically configures download so you can see chrome driver got downloaded then gecko driver because we configured it in the script to download and configure the gecko driver or chrome driver with the web driver manager so that's the importance and relevance of web driver manager in selenium automation using python so this web driver manager library is available for java it is available for python as well and it is freely available so if you just simply follow two simple steps install it with pip and then use these two commands based on the browser where you want to launch your test all the dependencies for the browser drivers will be managed automatically okay so this is all about this particular tutorial on the web driver manager for python selenium hope it was helpful Thank you very much for watching.